to see a visionary Rise, them who don't want me to them bury Now nah, go in, no my God to strong So I'm not gonna make them Fire, what are you saying? Yes, sir. Give thanks a lot. Fair key. That's a serious thing. We are here again, Ball Hit and the Dread Podcast. We give thanks for everyone been supporting the thing from those times to now. We really appreciate it. Have to remind the people, when you get free time, make sure you check out EP from Far Eye Disrupting the Status Quo. Link in the description. Also, new album coming to you soon. Blaze in the place. Make sure you check that one out. Um... All right, so much stuff, dear. If you get time, make sure you check us out. I never knew TV. Really appreciate it. I never knew TV.com. No reasons, dear. Also, we're playing every Sunday, 9 to 11 a.m. on WLOI.org. I never knew radio strictly roots rock break it. All right, what we're reasoning about today? Yes, sir. Well, today's reason is an interesting reason because I'm sure no, a lot of people can relate to the one. Yeah. It's like what that about Elk here. Healthcare officials and the usage of cell phone during work hours. I will also have a reason about people in a customer service um, areas where I have to do with food and all of these things when it comes to the level of contamination just because of the usage of phone and all of these different things. So, them now follow the regulations and where they're supposed to and it will affect the regular masses, you know? Big time. That's a good reason, far right. And I want to start off with the healthcare thing, right? Now, um, I've actually had two experiences recently. One, I went to the dentist, uh, you know, the person prep you, the dentist touching up the things, right? Then put the gloves on. And in my experience, I'm not a medical person, but I, I, I thought she was supposed to wash her hands, then put the gloves on, right? Um, and what's the other instance there? Oh, the other instance there with this um, negligence, right? Due to the cell phone. All right, you know, I, I gave the lady the insurance card, right? That's what I was supposed to do. They asked for the insurance card. Far they put the, 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 the insurance in wrong. And I remember clearly the day I was because the cell phone was there and it was a back and forth with her. And I'm not generalizing. So I'm talking about my personal experience, right? But it seems to be a broader experience for a lot of people. She doesn't put the thing in wrong. I'm getting all these crazy bills from these people that was supposed to be covered with that. And I finally went back and the person put it wrong and I got a refund. And it's just like, for, hey, if you're in the medical field, right, you have to pay attention to what you're doing in all aspects, whether it's billing or you're providing a service for the particular people. And I feel that this is this emergence of uh, people doing TikToks on their job and doing all this Instagram stuff on their job is taking away these professions. You need to be focused. They really impact people. It's not just like a service vibe. We're going to get to that in regards to contamination and food and all that. Right. But this whole on the phone 24 7 it cannot work it's very destructive i watched a, i was reading a report recently yeah, it's a report it is what it is we're not saying that it's it's, it's, it's written in gold but they were saying 78 percent of the workers do admit using their phones for personal use and social media use now right and i understand you have down times at these different facilities but i believe it's hard for people i know how people brain work if you're making this TikTok or taking all these pictures, it's hard for your brain to shift and leave that and focus fully on what you need to focus on when you're looking at a patient. All right, you know, listen, the thing's so terrible. You know, the, the longest I've been with a doctor recently is with the chiropractor. They actually asked me questions. They asked me what was going on. Every doctor I go with, I'm lucky if they're there for three minutes. Within 90 seconds or, yeah, see... Not even three minutes. See, a minute and a half. In 90 seconds, they just going to come up with something and just keep it moving. He's sitting there like, right, the man ain't asking no proper questions. They're asking what's going on. So the, 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 the system is already set away for, you know, things to move fast. And yes, I'm aware it's hard. A lot of people have quit this and that. But at the same token, this is a serious work you're doing. This is just not a job like you at a gas station. People are really impacted in a negative way when you don't focus on. And I feel that they need, there needs to be some type of legislation or something like these things. I believe cell phones should be banned from healthcare workers during their working hours. Not, uh, not cell phones. They should be banned from using social media during their healthcare hours. They may go on the news. They may watch something. But I don't think it's going to tweak out their mind like it do with the social media. I have you thought that? All right. Have you, thought, a, eh? have, you, have you saw the recordings? Have you saw people doing things in there? No, I saw them. I saw them. I saw them. When they're on the rise, no, I saw them when they're on the rise, no fire. Because I remember, I remember to, you know, it's a majority, a majority of the people, and we're going, we're in the healthcare sector, no way. But you, 
Would I say my majority? Me can't say majority. Now the stats to prove it, but most of them, I'm say the mentality with them have is just it's just another work. Them and do that, do this to get money. I ever oversee a can deal with people else just to get money for you. That is one industry where you yeah, see if you don't have a passion for it, leave it alone. Leave it alone. As they say, it's not like a gas station thing or it's not like a and them corporate corporate thing the way you know say if you if you know fulfill your duty. It's just another uh, blunder in regard to some paperwork. When you did then the health care feel for you. When you know the health care feel like you make some form of mistake or you know focus that can cause some of them life. But you see most of them don't look on it the way they then and the mentality where them have is just have another nine to five thing. Them deal with it the way they if they realize it even affect the way all them deal with like even patients and them thing there too because while enough of them fear fear get attention to patients and them thing there as we are them brain in the social media space, them brain in a communicating with people. So them now nah give the overall good service. That's why I guess anybody where take can tell us that them got doctor or them got hospital to certain levels and them find somebody with a good customer service and them find somebody who really care about them them duty. Them never forget that you know. And it's just alone them want to go back and when them go back at them place to so them only want to ask for these particular people. Because all across the board for you, most time you have to wonder to yourself, say, so my life in danger and at them people that me I come to. If my life in a danger and me come to them and them just shrug me off and oh, it's just that and they no focus, no attention, and I want just to them social media and one of the all of them different things yeah, and they will get to you whenever they get to you. Them type of approach there is not an approach where you can take in a healthcare field because your approach slowing down this you don't know what how serious something is and and, and it's funny enough because them people are them supposed to them learn these things in, in a, before them even start start to work but it's just something where them don't follow there's, there's one more aspect we need to touch on it's the whole food service fire right yes I'm aware right now getting paid that much or other jobs right in regards to the service industry but it is a job and you should do it to the best of your ability and provide a service I've seen too many times where people are wearing gloves and they're on their cell phone. And I'm not a biochemist or anything, right? But based on what I know about basic germs, doesn't that defeat the purpose? Because I thought the purpose of the glove was to wash your hands before you put the glove on so the hands are clean when you're touching the outside of the glove. Then to use the glove, but don't really touch anything else that's not needed except for the thing that you're trying to keep clear. What I see a lot of times is, and people listening probably have seen this, especially in food, it's a lot of on the cell phone with the glove while they're touching the food. And that can't work far. I just had to throw that in because there's some little practices out there that can't work. Because might as well just don't wear the glove. Just touch the food then. Because we all know the cell phone with people everywhere. You're taking a leak, the cell phone there. Taking a number two, the cell phone there, cell phone on the ground, cell phone all over the house, cell phone everywhere. I don't really think people clean off their cell phones like that. So I don't know. That's the next practice we just had to throw in there that people need to look into it and just say it can't work fire. Have you have you seen that? People touching up the phone with the cell phone? Yeah, we don't want that. They want to be getting on the LQ thing. I want that, that what I tell you the cards. All right. I can't, I'm, I'll, I'll I'm, probably start this reason me I try to remember the name of, the, of, of a virus, a particular like a stomach bug, but I can't remember the name, so that that, that, that kept, catch me off guard, but there's a stomach bug, a lady recently complained, so she get that of recent, you know how she get that, because what, them take, when she go in a particular restaurant, I will call the name of the restaurant, when she go in a, 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 a <laughs> when she go in a particular restaurant, what them did, them and them them handle the money, all the money with the glove, and then them 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 share out the food with the glove and prepare the food with the glove, and and then them take all them take all the care them, the the, the debit care them all of these things with the glove, and plus them touch them phone with the glove at the same time. So it's that particular I'd say it's a lot more than one people complain about it. You know, I just can't remember the name of the of the, of the virus. Stomach bug them, I get that for them things they fire, and that is very detrimental to your health. Because that are, sometimes I yeah, that's me keep on a wonder for you. These things are supposed to be one on one. These are these are basic education way in this field. It's supposed to come like a no brainer. But here I go on now. It's not that them don't know, you know. So are two things. One is is the subconscious. Cause enough of them things are the people them subconscious. Like them them they even overstand so them I do it because them so addicted to using the phone twenty four seven. 
So they're not him or oh, them 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 so used to not respecting people. You see what I say? And then for the next end now, it's like them don't care. Them don't care for you because from a basic standpoint, because here why here why them don't care. Like the average person don't used to doing so much different process in them life. So if them do one little thing, it not really entail a bunch of process. And you see, if it entails a bunch of process, them can't deal with it in a regular life. So them carry the same attitude to this workplace and not overstanding so them a, do a service where have to deal with food. Where when that going out, that is going into people's system. So them not respect the whole aspect there and the aspect of things they're not fire because here I go on. If me take off my glove now, if me touch this money, I may have to take off my glove now, put on a wash my hand, put on a new glove, serve the food. Uh, and no say when we collect the money, uh, we have to do the same process again. That are too much steps, too much steps. That um, there's nothing else in my life for me to do so much steps. So I'm not going to do it. And them type of mentality that the people them really are giving me is like I don't care because customer service is not something regular where you find these good customer service. Not something where you find with regular these days in the fire. You can't see half of the top say a man and tell us say yo, oh a twelve dollar me make a oh and you know, so why should I even be smiling? Why should I even be? Telling, asking you, oh, how are you? Why should I even be having any conversation? Oh, all right. what you said? How much is this? Twelve dollar, thirteen dollar. All right, cool. Cash. You wrap it up. Some of them they pan all them phone while them a collect even the money from you or collect any form of payment from you, and them a deal with customer service. So even the part that we have, we have to throw in the thing too, cause the bad customer service they mix with the fuck off not practicing the basics what they're supposed to practice and it affect people for it it make people sick it give people germs all of them things yeah. so they, that them not no respect for nobody and that means that means sum it up as i think i think the era of good customer service is over as a, a as a country right and it's been declining but it really this covid thing put the the um the nail in the coffin and also remember it's b team we're dealing with now in the sense because a lot of companies or a lot of places they can't find employees so they just find their randoms and it seems that they're finding people that weren't really employed before or maybe they weren't the, the, the best performers in regards to what I'm seeing right so you, you have you have a situation where the, the turnover is so much no one can be trained right the people you bring it in as you said they don't care and I think a lot of I hear it now because it's like they don't care it's like you can't fire them that's the mind that's the mind frame people have now. Because you can't fire me, I'll just do whatever. And doing whatever un unfortunately results in cutting corners and certain things that you probably shouldn't be cutting corners in. And I just think it's a rough time for businesses and hence that's why they go into the AI <laughs> because it's just like all right, you have the human error and you just have the inability to follow certain protocols that, that just needs the business to run on a certain basic level. They're not an extreme, like some basic things that you can't do. Like you probably shouldn't be on your cell phone in front of customers. I think that's like a most basic thing. I, I thought, I thought that was two things really do I really want to say now. So one, people not really, people not really into what they do these days no more. Everything where, where people are just a get by thing. That's I'm just key, getting man. by. That's, that's the key. key. That's the key. <laughs> We just I get by it. And, and because we just I get by it means that whatever I do right here, if, even if it's, it can just be the beer minimum, as long as I pass the beer minimum, that's fine. And, and it's not even, sometimes it's not even have to do with just employers, it's just have to do with people's personal situation, the way all people interpret things, the way all them start to take things nowadays. Like everything is the end of the world, end of the world vibes. And I them think that people are portrayed when it comes to customer service. And suddenly when the, the biggest customer service, so we are really, really have to deal with, have to deal with like food and healthcare and them things that because them they're the biggest sectors where everybody have got, at some point you're not even have to sick for go and doctor for you. You know, have to, nothing have wrong with your teeth for your go and dentist. You see me I say, yeah, yeah, you have to go hungry, so you have to go, so I, I mind, and they woman all the time, I don't carry food all the time, so you have to stop at a restaurant and pick up a food or something. So these are places where we have to interact with, and it's like nobody don't care no more because so much different things affect them and so much the mentality have a shift now I'm just doing it just because that I want the next thing and then and then and, and then the, the other part that what me did the one say is that I want that people overstand say when you got the tile to have your phone. You see? Yeah, well, the, no matter where you go, when you go outside and you, you have a so one look a spot, one look a dirty spot, something you rest all your phone there. And and for you come back and still intertwine all them 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 type of phone something there, cross people food. Food and then they've not wipe it with all nothing for say boy, them I get rid of the germs. 
So it's like, yeah, 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 yeah disrespect me on a next different level now because you just bring your phone, God, bar you. Go, bar you. And now you bring your phone, come back in our place and me, I get food for you. That's the heights of disrespect, you know. And enough ones that even overstand them things in the fight. Because you know, so I think so enough time the people in the conscious. Because more don't want to feel like, say, them live them life just to disrespect people. And that, man, I don't want to feel like, I don't want to feel the way that so them live them life just to disrespect people. So I got to have it say, it's conscious, them not conscious, so them are doing it. So I tell them now, tell the people them now, say, yo, you know, actually I do them things in the fire. And that are the heights of disrespect. Because you have to respect people, pe- people's space, people, people's temple. The way your people, the way your people interact with them temple, tell you everything to in a fire. Oh, you interact with other people, temple, tell you a thing to. And at that, I feel like everybody needs to overstand fire. Like the basic things is, if, if, if I want to come to you and I require, I see you as an expert at that. Because remember, you know, if me, if not, I say, I tell you, say, boy, if I see somebody I serve at a front of a restaurant, I expect, say, boy, them they have, them they got a chef in school or whatever. What may I say? If you are working in a restaurant, you must at least know something about, 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 about food. You understand the mass of fire? Yes, you must at least understand, say, all right, these are the basics, do basic do's, basic don't. I, if you're not working in a healthcare field, you're supposed to say these are the basic do's, the basic don't. I follow them type of protocol and code because if you don't follow them protocol and code, it will affect people, temple fire. And the basics, them things that will me feel at least. Man, nah, big time, man. We just... Yeah, another thing go already. Yo. I just want to add one thing for anybody that say about, you know, certain jobs in this. I feel that you can do a job to a certain standard, right, without killing yourself. But at the same token, you need a certain level of performance or it start to impact other aspects of your life. So you can't be fully immediate because remember, you had the job for a certain duration of time. You know, and, and this is what I've learned about life and the people I've been exposed to that. Progressive people tend to do their thing regardless. They're not going to stay there long, though. That's the thing. Like, a man not going to be at that particular job for no years. They'll be there. For the duration of time that they are there, they're going to do their thing. Because this thing is uh, uh, circular in a sense where everything impacts everything else. So I don't see how you could be in one aspect for eight hours, ten hours, just mediocre, then transition that to other stuff. It's best you don't even go there, if I am. Just focus on what you're doing because you need to be on the heights and everything that you do. But uh, the healthcare workers, I'm appreciative for all the work that you do. But I don't know. I don't think that's cool uh, recording TikToks and all that stuff on your job. I don't know about those things too much and being on the social media. Now, for those, as you as you stated earlier, for those who do it and it doesn't impact them, it is. But I don't know. Cause there are a lot of mistakes that are made from all aspects, from billing to uh, uh, providing uh uh, now, what's the proper, I don't know, analysis or whatever, or uh, medication, all these things. And there's always been that level of human error, but it seems that it's increasing with the use of social media and the cell phone and people's inability to focus on what they're doing. You know, so we give thanks for everyone listening from those times. So now uh, do remember, check out music from the one or touch the link in the description. If you didn't check the reason in there, uh, full reason from Dr. Umar Johnson, we re- uh, released documentary we did in 2002 um roots tonic new title jamaican drink that reverses erectile dysfunction uh cleans colon cleans blood and more uh, reasons there from billy enough reasons there so but make sure you hop on i never knew tv.com and support the thing